and Caterpillar agreed to buy Bucyrus for uh, $7.6 billion, a huge, huge deal for Caterpillar, expanding its range of excavation equipment. Joining us this morning with more on the acquisition is Caterpillar Chairman and CEO Douglas Oberhelm. And Doug, uh, good to talk with you again. Well, good morning, Betty. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well for a Monday. Um, Great. You know, Doug, last time we talked, uh, you know, I remember you were saying to me, look, Caterpillar wants to, they would prefer to grow organically in order to expand. Now we've come upon this huge mega deal. What happened here? Well, what happened was the mining industry is very, very attractive to us for the long term. And, and we really think with all the things going on around the globe, with globalization, urbanization, the demand for minerals, things in the earth will be strong for a long period of time, and we like that industry. Secondly, we thought with Bucyrus, there's no product overlap to speak of. We can offer our customers a full range of products from mining trucks to shovels to drills to underground, underground coal to the very big drag lines, the things that we do and like, heavy horsepower, heavy iron. And that's very appealing to us. And we, we talked with their management, put the two companies together and made the announcement this morning. All of us are thrilled at Caterpillar today. Uh, the, the problem, though, Doug, is that, uh, you know, we were just flashing the stock price. It is down about 1% right now. Investors seem to be a bit more lukewarm about this. Well, we did issue a, a statement talking about financing and funding. And, and uh, we'll be issuing some equity. And I think that uh, has something to do with it. But again, day to day is really not my interest in the stock price. It's the long term value for the shareholders right. and how we serve customers. We're really after this, how we serve our customers. This industry has some very sophisticated customers in the mining business. Mm -hmm. We know all of them well. Bucyrus knows them well. And they've been asking us to be a, a broader supplier. And in one fell swoop, we can do this. And, and uh, over time, this is going to be a real winner. OK, so uh, Doug, then when is this going to start impacting earnings then? Well, of course, that'll happen after we close. Uh, we've said uh, around mid-2011 we are uh, hopeful for closing. So sometime in the latter half of 2011, I'm sure we'll get it done, and, and uh, we'll start to see the impact on our top and bottom line at that point in time. Okay. Uh, and, Doug, also you mentioned early on that this is really a play on the globalization uh, that we're seeing. Um, uh, we're also concerned, though, not only in globalization, but the debasement of the dollar and how that plays into uh, emerging markets like China and Brazil. Uh, how are you? hedging though on that front as we're seeing more volatility emerge in some of these in some of these markets overseas well we, we at caterpillar have had a strategy for decades that we try and make the volume production that is the, the machines that we sell in china we build in china the machines we sell in western europe we make in western europe same with the united states brazil and so on so we really try to hedge it structurally We've tried to hedge our, hedge our sales with our costs, and for the most part, we've done a pretty good job with that. Generally, we're watching the, the dollar and, and what's happening with currency fluctuations around the world today. And it's a, it's a, uh, it's a critical time, no doubt about it. But again, we're focusing long term mm -hmm. on what we think is a demand in the world from 6 billion people for modernization, essentially. Right. Modernization is particularly in China. Uh, just, Doug, from your sense, uh, how did you feel President Obama did with his relations in trying to get the Chinese to move on their currency? Uh, were you satisfied with what the president did? Well, uh, look, currency discussions are tough. Uh, I've been in around foreign exchange off and on my whole career. There's a lot of elements to currency, and it's in, in, in the case of the President of the United States, it's a, it's a political uh, test as much as anything. Uh, I think time will tell. The announcements that always come out of these kinds, kinds of meetings are one thing, what happens over time is what you have to watch. So I think we should sit back and, and watch what happens. Okay. All right, Doug, always uh, good to see you and talk with you. Doug Oberhelman, the CEO of Caterpillar.